Guys, I cannot believe I'm doing this video. Da! What is wrong with me? If you don't want to hear the backstory behind like why I'm trying to do keto, then just skip forward a few seconds. Okay, so... <sighs> you guys saw last week's grocery haul. It was full of like so much crap. Like I just... <sighs> I was loving the convenience foods and... I was like, why haven't I always eaten like this? Like, it's fine. I feel fine. I don't feel fine. I feel like crap. So I'm making a change. I'm terrified. I have no self-control. Why am I doing this? Stop. I just realized that, like, I'm feeling really bad. My skin is terrible. I'm getting eczema, like, everywhere. I feel, like, tired all the time. I get nauseated all the time. Like, something is just not right in my body. And the food that I'm giving it is not helping, and it's probably, like, causing a lot of it. You guys have seen all my other Aldi hauls. You know, like, how we eat. It's, like, not horrible, but it's not, like, amazing. Last week, it got really bad. I had, like, chicken nuggets, and, like, we've been eating macaroni and cheese, frozen waffles, and, like, I got the kids danimals. It's just, like getting so bad so I just decided yesterday I was just like so done with feeling sick and tired and like depressed I'm just so done so I was like you know what I am gonna check out the keto diet because I have family that does it and I've heard amazing things from it and so last night I spent like my whole evening just like researching it um there's so much and honestly like this week I'm not going to dive in head first, although I feel like I am for me, like this is like a huge change, but I'm going to be like lenient, but the thing is I'm going to stop with the sugars and the like breads and stuff. I still have stuff here like in the cupboards that are those things, but I was like why should I bring any more crap in here? I'm rambling because I'm scared. I need to go on a diet, I need to take care of myself and not even because like I want to lose weight like that would seriously be like a bonus it's because I feel so bad I'm gonna be doing like 90% keto the girls are gonna be doing 75 ish I'm gonna let them have fruits this week my goal is to just like eat whole foods so maybe I won't get the whole like keto thing right um, but when I show you guys like my groceries let me know if you guys have done keto or if you know the rules like if I'm wrong about anything I will say that I feel like 90 to 95 percent of the stuff that I got is keto compliant so my meals are um, keto Mexican pizza I'll link these um, keto taco bowls and Italian chicken thighs with salad that's all I have written down I'm probably just gonna be eating like a lot of like chicken and vegetables let's get into my haul I spent $140 which is a lot but I'm sure there's like some way to figure out how to like do it for cheaper but I just like decided to just go and get stuff I'm just like so done feeling like crap I'm sorry that you can hear my kids screaming in the background mom life all right I'm gonna start with the frozen stuff so that way I can put it in the freezer right away I got a few things of this riced cauliflower one of them I got the garlic and herb and those ones are just plain I've never had those before so I hope I like them because they seem to be like big in the whole keto world um, and then I got some green beans I'm actually not quite sure if these are compliant um, with keto because do they count as leg legumes I'm not sure so I'll have to check on that but like I said I'm not being too too picky this week since it's just our first week then I got two things of broccoli and I'm pretty sure that's totally fine um, and then oh yeah here over here yeah, hi, baby. Um, and then the last frozen thing is these frozen blueberries. I thought I would just put those in smoothies and stuff for the girls for breakfast. So now that I have that in the freezer, let's move on to the produce. I have um, romaine lettuce here. I have celery. This is going to be for my girls. Hopefully they'll eat it. They've never tried it. I absolutely despise celery. Like, it's my most hated vegetable ever. Um, asparagus, on the other hand, I love asparagus, so I got that. Um, two cucumbers. Hey, little girl. Can I see that? You got strawberries on your face. Um, some, <laughs> I never do this, but I got this fresh peeled um, garlic just because I just spotted it, and all I have now is minced garlic, so 
it's definitely better, but it is the cheap version because I don't have to peel it, but whatever. Um, cilantro, green onions. These are like my two must-haves for my salads. I feel like they add like so much goodness and I did not like salads until my mother-in-law. Hey, shh, quiet. Until my mother-in-law told me that she puts green onions and cilantro in her salads and I always loved her salads and turns out that was why. Um, okay, I actually, I grabbed these because I heard that they're like good for snacking, but as I was checking out, I was like, wait, they're legumes. So you guys let me know. I'm pretty sure these are not keto compliant. And then I got five avocados because apparently avocados are like in like every keto recipe, it seems like. I just wish they were a little bit cheaper. They're 99 cents today. Um, but yeah, I got those. Then I got these, are they grape tomatoes? Um, whatever. I think they're grape tomatoes, but... Um, then I got these three different colors of peppers for snacking and then also for probably like taco fajita bowl type things. And then um, I got oranges and I know that, um, so with the fruit, I got a lot of it for the girls. So I know I'm not supposed to have most of this fruit on keto, um, but they are, they love fruit. So, um, navel oranges, um, and if I say like anything wrong, you guys, please correct me. But I'm pretty sure I can't have navel oranges for keto. And then nectarines, those are like $1.60 or something for that whole thing. Um, bananas, obviously not keto compliant, but the girls like those. Strawberries are keto compliant, but in moderation. And what is this strawberry doing on the table runner? Hey, Sayla, do not put it on here, okay? And then I got a cantaloupe. I'm not really sure. Um, I'm guessing this isn't keto compliant, but... Like I said, you guys let me know. I'm pretty sure only berries are, though, right? Okay, carrots are not, but these are for the girls. Um, what did I miss here? Oh, the cauliflower, and of course the cauliflower is. And I'm going to make some sort of like cheesy tots with this. So, okay, moving on. I got two dozen eggs. I already have at least a dozen in the fridge, but I'm definitely going to have those for like snacks and <laughs> lunches. Um, cream cheese, I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but I know a lot of keto recipes have cream cheese in them. Feta cheese for salads, classic guacamole, um, again, like, gua guacamole and avocado is in, like, everything keto, so that's good, even though I can't have it on my toast. Um, and then these cal Kalamata olives, and I'm 99% sure that olives are okay. Um, and I love olives, so I thought these would be good to snack on with cheese, so I got those. They're kind of like the more fancy ones, and then I got just the like regular green olives. And then I got this Kerrygold Irish Butter. I think I'm mostly going to put this like on vegetables and in my coffee maybe. And then, um, oh yeah, <laughs> and then all of this cheese. <laughs> There's just, just so much cheese. That's the good thing about the keto diet is you can have cheese. So I got Pepper Jack, Colby Jack, Monterey Jack. Wow, I didn't realize I put all the Jacks right there. Anyway, uh, mozzarella and mild cheddar. Okay. Um, and then, Sayla, stop. Go play for a minute, okay? And then the boneless, skinless uh, chicken thighs were on sale for $1.69. I was so excited. I love chicken thighs. I know they're more fatty, um, but that's good for keto. Am I right? Um, but, and they're just better. So I got like, I think seven and a half pounds, um, and yeah, $1.69. Good deal. Um, Parmesan cheese, I know I'm pretty sure that's keto compliant, right? Because I saw it in some of the recipes. Uh, sour cream, saw that in some of the recipes too, so I'm assuming that is. This one, I'm not sure about cottage cheese. I hate cottage cheese, but this, I was going to let the girls try this. They've never had it. Um, but even if it's not keto compliant, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like I'm just gonna let him have it anyway. And then I know this isn't either. I feel like I'm saying that a lot, but honestly, like most of the stuff is. And if it's not, it's still healthy. Um, kefir, woo! I literally bought them Danimals last week. So let's just say we're making progress. <laughs> so um, heavy whipping cream that's in everything keto and I'll definitely be putting that in my coffee. Black beans, I can't have these for keto, but the girls will have these for lunches. And 
Again, it's just way better than the chicken nuggets and french fries we were having last week and macaroni and cheese, you know, black beans and avocado, like, so much better. Um, then these olives are for the pizza, um, yeah. And then um, the almonds. <laughs> These ones are so good from Aldi. They're roasted with sea salt. They're so yummy. I'll have to look and see how many I'm like allowed to have or whatever. I don't know. Sunflower kernels. I heard those were good to have. Um, and so I'll put those in salads. Um, and then while we're at it, Sayla wanted these for a snack, so I thought that was a pretty clean um, snack. Although, obviously not keto. Coffee. Praise the Lord is okay with keto. <laughs> or else I would not be on this diet. I'm not really on a diet, but you know what I mean. I would not be like dabbling in it. Um, ground turkey, this is for the pizza crust. And then um, bacon, so I'll definitely be making like bacon more at breakfast time now since we won't have like toast as like fillers. So I'll definitely have to be making like more than just eggs. Wakey wakey, eggs and bacon. Okay, and then the last thing for meat is this whole chicken. It was half price. So it was like $3 for this whole chicken. Yeah, I'm a little intimidated. I don't know if I've ever cooked a whole chicken before. Maybe like 10 years ago with my mom. But I'm gonna do it because $3, hey, there you go. So I got the dishwasher packs that I love so much. I got these gummy vitamins and the last vitamins that they had were like $30 vitamins and I ran out and so I just grabbed these and obviously they're not as good and they're gummy and they have dyes and stuff in them but they're $7 and that's okay. And then I picked up a few of these cards. Whenever they have cards I always grab a few to just have on hand because they're 99 cents and they're beautiful you guys. They're like 3D and they're gorgeous. You would pay $6 for this in Walmart or Target. So I always pick up a few and it's just nice and convenient to have them on hand. So I got a wedding one, a birthday one, and then like a man birthday one. So here is the overview and this stuff plus the frozen stuff. And I also got a big thing of vinegar, um, but I need to bring that in from the car. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to do subscribe if you like to see more and if you want to see update on like how I feel after my first week of kind of doing keto. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Let me know your thoughts down below. Have you tried keto? Have you tried something else? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts guys. I'm so scared. Okay, I need to go take care of my children now. So, bye!